All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, just thought I'd do something a little different today. Um, believe it or not, I've only been keeping uh, reef tanks around two and a half years now, uh, so not 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 uh, a lot. Um, but uh, in that whole time, I've never tested for the par on my tanks. Now, um, the growth on the tanks, don't get me wrong, as you can see, is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, the Styloporo, you know, the Duncans there, mushrooms, candy canes, etc. Um, everything is growing. But the problem we have is the growth, I don't think, is good enough. It's not fast enough yet. Um, I know patience is uh, a good thing, but when I look at other people's tanks, my parameters are exactly the same. So I just thought, well, if the parameters are right, um, you know, alkalinity, calcium, magnesium, but the, uh, and everything else is right, then why, you know, why is uh, the things not growing as fast as they should? Um, and it can only come down to the spectrum of the lights. Um, I know uh, mixing LEDs and T5s are probably the best way to go, but I don't want to really hang things from the, the roof sort of thing. Plus, with me running free, um, Hydro 26s. I was gonna get the Aqua Life, um, the uh, the Aqua Life uh, dual one, but you've got to hang that. There's no, they don't have brackets for the sides. Or well, fellow reefer said, just attach it to the uh, to your lights. But that's another thing which uh, I'm a bit unsure about. But you know, maybe it's something to look into in the future. But uh, anyway, go back onto the subject and onto the, to the. Uh, to the video this time um, I decided to borrow a friend's um, Senai and as you can see the Senai you just load the software up on your tank on your computer sorry um, and it basically you just put the the probe into the tank like so so you just stick this in anywhere and it will give a reading of what your lights are anyway just done a test guys and as you can see I printed this this out on my computer and as you can see it's a bit blurred it's not the best photo best picture but basically it's a picture of my tank and as you can see it was only reading 203 230 um, two 56, 194, and around where all my SPS are, reading 232, uh, 266, 280, where the bile of green slimer is. But then coming across to where that green uh, one is, where it grows really, really fast, it was hitting 385 there, and 280 where the style of pour is. So I was getting mixed, mixed uh, uh, for readings really. Along the bottom, it was averaging between 160-ish all the way across to about 200. Um, this is where I think, because the main light is slightly bigger, as you can see, if you look at my lights, I've got two, this one and that one, they're on shorter brackets than what that is. And as you can see from the side, it was purposely done. The first, the two in the back, the middle one is slightly large, longer um, because I knew that was where I was going to be growing the SPS. Now, this is the problem we have. I think it's wrong. If I would have bought the smaller one, the same as these ones, it would have all been lined up and I think I would have got better light consistency. Now, coming back onto it, what could I do? Well, this. These lights here, from the edge, were only five inches. So they were basically from there to there. What I've done is I've moved them in now, from there to there, and I've moved them in eight inch. So obviously, they're both closer to the center one. Same again, five inches it was from there to there, and I've moved it in another three inch um, to see. Now, 
as you can see guys this was reading here on here it was reading on that green one uh, sorry on the, the the level it was reading about 256 that was when it was five inch now I'm going to show you now what it's reading on it we stick it on onto the level which is that green one which was reading 256 keep it on it there and it is now reading 320 this one was reading here on this it was reading around 260 around here where the SPS were let's keep it steady it's a bit hard doing this with one hand guys 260 and it's now reading 340 so as you can see just by moving the lights in just by moving the lights in by three inch that's all I've moved it in guys three inch it's increased the it's increased these from 256 to 330 ish from here from 266 260 it's gone to 330 340 so it's increased it on average probably maybe 25 percent which is a big difference just by moving it in so the importance of testing your tank for the par which I should have done a long time ago guys it's my own fault um, and that's probably why I've been getting slowish growth than what other people have been getting um, SPS really should be in the region of 350 to I'd say 4 420 430 I'd say um, especially for the higher end SPS um, they need a lot of light um, the lower SPS like the stylos and you know this green one here they're not as demanding I wouldn't have thought but now I can understand why the stylo because the stylo there it grows a lot faster than all the others and that is the reason is because this where this light is the main portion of the light is hitting that stylo porter that's what that was reading on here was reading around 330 that this was when these lights were at five inches so obviously now the both to closer together you're getting more of a spread that is going down onto the more of the center of the tank so as you can see the center of the tank is going to be hit a lot more with a lot more um, light so hopefully fingers crossed we should see a big difference in the next few months of, of uh, growth and spread and uh, only time will tell guys but just thought I'd put that video out um, Definitely, I'm gonna buy one of these Senai's now. Um, like I said, I bought it off a fellow reefer, really good lad. Um, and I'm gonna basically just buy one myself and uh, and just keep it because, to be truthful, they're worth the weight in gold. They don't just do the pass, you've probably looked into them. It does ammonia, it does your pH, it does your temperature, it does loads of things, but you do need to put a slide in. This is what this is monitoring it. It's basically saying that there's no sliding, so obviously um, it's uh, it. My mate only uses it just for this par and his uh, lux readings. That's all he really uses it for. So obviously, if you wanted to keep it in your tank, these are a really good uh, deal. I think you can get the whole pack where you get the slides. You can also get a Wi-Fi module where you can stick this in your tank, obviously permanently. So you stick it in your sump, and basically it will monitor your uh, ammonia. <laughs> your pH, your temperature, uh, loads of things like that um, and you don't need to plug it in via USB into your PC, you can just monitor it um, through a app that comes on Google or iOS um, and you can basically monitor it anywhere in the world so where there's a Wi-Fi so I think it's a, a pretty good uh, deal, the only reason I never really got one is because I've got the Apex but it doesn't measure um, it doesn't measure uh, your par or your looks obviously you can buy the uh, accessory for it but it's absolutely crazily expensive so for this if you just to, for me just to buy the um, the Senai 
it works out at around about I think they're about 120 quid over in the UK. Uh, but the actual with a Wi-Fi um, with the Wi-Fi uh, box and the uh, the actual Senai and slides, I think they retail for about 297. I think give or take a few pounds. That's in the UK. Um, so obviously I don't know what it would be over in Europe or America, but um, yeah. Definitely worth the wait. Worth the wait in gold to be true for. I think it's uh, something I'm going to look into, um, and then obviously I can adjust and monitor my tank um, with the lights. So yeah, just thought I'd put that out, guys. Um, hope you like the video. Click like and subscribe if you do. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a message. You always get back to to everybody. Um, and yeah, just thought I'd uh, I'd do a quick video to show you uh, what I've been doing today. So thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.